Hi. Why wasn't the zoom from yesterday saved? On my cam. All right. Good morning. We are going to investigate the spoiler of Phyrexia All Will Be One in boosters, two hundred seventy one cards. Sort by color which I guess it starts by color right wool spoiler was out yesterday yeah and since I'm going to participate in the PT of this turn of this set I will be playing limited so I will just we're gonna familiarize ourselves with the cards with the including all the commons too so that we can have a greater level of knowledge about them. So let's go against all odds. This is an elephant in the picture card against all odds. No flavor text. Sorcery for four mana. It blinks an artifact or creature you control, or it returns artifact or creature with mana value free or less from your graveyard the battlefield. Uncommon for mana. Sorcery. This seems very weak to me. Kind of unplayable. Being a sorcery. If it was an instant that we could maybe discuss, but it just seems kind of terrible. I guess a lot it might might show up uh, in some of my limited decks, but I would hope not. Annex Sentry. For some reason, I like to read the picture, the cards from the picture much more than from this, so I'm going to enlarge them like this. Annex Sentry seems humongous. You see this creature here, it's kind of small in comparison. I don't know what's that. Maybe it's some kind of a jinky taxius mechanism as it has the trademark cameras. There's never a need to change the watch for the servants of Norn are sleepless. One for a toxic one for free mana. When ETBs exile target artifact or creature and point controls with one value free or less until Annex Sentry leaves the battlefield. Seems fairly solid and limited. Very, very good, maybe even. High toughness, one power doesn't matter as much if you have toxic. It's kinda hard to grasp how how important toxic is and how uh, how often games are going to be ending with poison damage. <clears throat> so evaluation on the powerfulness of those cards can change a lot but this seems like a very good and common as opposed to against all odds could just yeah apostle of invasion six mana for for flying and corrupted as double strike. Yeah, of of course, because there's also the corrupted mechanic, which might be also a reason to play toxic cards or like be happy that you have some toxic cards. Even if you don't kill your opponent with toxic, you still have a reason to poison them a bit. 
and a difference between a 4-4 flying and 4-4 flying double strike is, is definitely a pretty big difference because without corrupted it's a pretty poor pretty medium card <clears throat> very unexciting but with corrupted it's very strong well still a six drop but i haven't played limited in a while so actually might be a bit hard for me to say to <laughs> you know well oh wow five mana free free flying when etbs create two phyrexian mites this is insane this is like a top tier common it's five mana it's white white but it is so strong the mites can't block so it's not just as as cute on defense but aggressively it is insane five points of power three of which fly also get the toxic two mites should enable that a lot this seems like i don't know best white common but that's the best white common that i've seen but it's where we might be <clears throat> not used to strong exclamations they're getting limited cards yeah are you playing the PT guy in? Did you qualify? <clears throat> Blight that ambassador. The one after, not this one then, yeah. Two mana free one. With a little oil. Just looks like Elish Norn cosplay. So funny. Because it looks like it's a suit. Because Elish Norn herself is, has like flesh. Flesh protruding from you know you can see this the red thing is her flesh and the white is armor no this is clearly a robe i don't know maybe it's not the case are the old alesh norn hmm, i guess it's well on the neck you can see that is just the alesh norn's flesh and yeah this is her flesh and a metallic bust. Hands. But this just looks like a guy I was playing a listener. <laughs> also, there was one thing that I found very weird, very jarring. This card and Elish Norn, they literally have almost the same artwork and the same pose. But in this one, the headpiece is two times as long. Almost. Maybe it's maybe it's a you know a second headpiece that she wears when she's sitting on the throne. Not to interfere with the throne. Martina Fatskova and Chris Ran. So that's a different person. How can she safely turn her head with the sail? Well, she just can't. This analysis doesn't hit quite as hard as the current finger count. NGL, yeah. Well, not much is gonna top current finger count. 
It's because of different focal length. No, clearly this is longer here. No, it's not no focal length here. Don't bullshit me, please. Clearly two different people uh, drawn this, uh, these artworks and Marina, Martina was told to paint Elishnor on the throne. So she was like, yeah, I guess I have to fit the throne of the of the stonified people. Hmm. Well, Elishnor's headpiece has to be trimmed. All right, well, let's come back to evaluating the card. Enters with an oil counter, remove an oil. Uh, Bellated Amastor gains a distraction until the end of turn. The Mites can't block in this turn. <coughs> so it does look really decent to me. Like, very. Oh, this is uncommon again. Uncommon again. But it's free power, oil counter. There is ways to gain more oil counter. Seems like a really good attacker. So, probably a card that's solid and limited too. What do I think about the constructed parallel of this set? I'm looking at the cards now, so bear with me. Maybe it's like nails from humans, you have to trim the headpiece. Damn. Could be. Charge of the mice, free mana instant. Damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature playing soccer or create two mites at the instant speed. Everyone not blocking mites could be an issue depending how common they are. Yeah. It's gonna be an aggressive creature. Have I done any vintage cube this season? I have, yeah. A little bit. It's actually deep. Enjoy it, yes. This seems... This seems playable. Potentially. All of the pens on the deck, I think you want it to remove ability to be okay. Because the mites are only, only really good on aggression. So you have to keep that in mind. Lots of cards so far. I guess all the might cards are gonna be only good while you are the aggressor. Or maybe you can sacrifice them something. Complete devotion. Ajani is also getting on on the cosplay trend. Seems like. Will I do limited for this set also? I will be playing at the PT, so there will be limited at the PT. So I am interested in limited, which is why I'm investigating the set, familiarizing myself with the commons and commons, looking at the cards for the first time to know what's in the set. Yes. Tiger Cherry Control gets plus two, plus two. If that creature has toxic, draw a card. Wow. Well, this is was the only toxic creature so far, but you can toxic. I guess plus two plus two on a toxic creature isn't that good, so let's block it. <coughs> PT is pioneer, but it's also a limited portion. Like PTs in the past used to did used to have. G instead of one white. This costs one white. I don't know, what do you mean? So it's gonna be both Pioneer and Limited. Two drafts. I might draft on stream a little bit, yeah. Although there is still a while till the set get re gets released on moda and I'm gonna be gone for the most of the time before the PT when the set releases, so...
Crawling Horus white mana, 1-1 one, one toxic. So once again, pretty aggressive and seems pretty strong too, given that toxic is, is valuable. And it's just, it's gonna be a way to enable the corrupted cards early in the game. And also just dies into a might. So not necessarily good in the same ways as normal Doom Travelers are when they die into a creature, but it seems solid. Duelist of Deep Pave, 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, Toxic 1, with your turn, Duelist has first strike. <coughs> Poor Mir. Once again, cosplaying Alesh Norn. Very aggressive, first strike on your turn, and also Toxic on a 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. So it seems like White is trying to be aggressive from what we see so far. Elishnorn. Uh, not many ETBs yet. So it's probably good, just good stats in Limited, but we'll see how great that it, it is in Limited. Not sure if it's going to be an absolute bomb. <clears throat> Flensing Raptor. Bony Bird. Flying, Toxic 1. When ETBs under target creature with Toxic gains plus 1 plus 1 and gains flying, yes. So it's 3 mana. Is this weekend the pre release? Next weekend. So already show the cards. Is that normal? I thought they show cards a week, the day before the pre-release. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Well, this pre-release that they stream is the loading ready run probably or something which they do have a pre 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 release Gold Warden's Helm so a two free creature with the equipment this looks very mid my mother wore this into the battle against the first Phyrexians now I wear it in her honor Good luck, bro. So as you see, Phyrexia is just progress versus tradition. And you can analyze the rest of the subtext here yourself. Who is really who really is the the bad guys? For Merodin, for mana, creatures you control that are equipped get plus one plus zero. Equipped creature has flying, so they free to flying with a bit of an upside. Minimal upside. I guess the equip equipment being left over is okay. This seems not too bad. And if so, if you have more equipments, that also works. Incisor Glida. That's <laughs> Thief. <laughs> Not everyone Phyrexia is Phyrexian? Question mark. Are you surprised or are you asking me? There is one sphere of Merodin where Miran's uncorrupted still live and are rebelling against yes, Phyrexia. He's a phenomenal control <clears throat> player. Two months back chest.
they have to have some conflict on every set, so they made it so that. Thank you, Boulder Elf. No, the Phyrexians are actually the good guys. They were literally in the Thran Empire, the people who got imprisoned by the rich in case and got enhanced by Yogmok and all to kill the prisoners. Exactly. I'm not sure how connected the new Phyrexia is to the old Phyrexia, if it's still the same oil. I remember that we researched that, but I forgot. So Memnark was <coughs> already driven mad by Phyrexian oil. That Karn accidentally left. Okay. So it was the same Phyrexian oil. Also notice how they removed the new, it's just Phyrexia now. I mean, yeah, it would be kind of weird for them to call themselves the new Phyrexia, right? And this set is from the perspective of Phyrexia, so... Although... People in New York don't call themselves New Yorkers, so... Do I think Venerated Rod Priest will see play? Card seems very interesting to me. I think for Constructed it does not seem good at all to me. Yeah, the new Phyrexians also have spheres. I don't know if they if they had spheres on Merodin to begin with. The glorious facade, a sphere added above the original Merodin surface. So they had to add an extra an extra sphere to have nine. Decorated with temples and monuments glorifying the Phyrexians and the Praetors. This sphere is unstable and portions of it are prone to break apart. <laughs> Just had to build an extra layer of monuments. The Merex, the original surface of Merodin, now a barren wasteland with the Phyrexians harvesting of resources to build the rest of the plain. Hmm, okay, so you know, so Phyrexians are harvesting the resources. Um, they are the capitalists. The Farness layer, Autonomous Farness, a red aligned sphere where rivers of molten metal are used to construct new titanic forges. Ura Brask resides here. The Quiet Farness, whatever it is, and some of the Miran resistance. Then Green aligned sphere, a hunter maze, then Surgical Base. Blue aligned sphere, Draw Spits, the Black aligned sphere, Fair Basilica, the White aligned sphere. Built, built in the image of Elish Norn. And then Make us in gardens part of the former core of Mirrodin. Now towering columns of Mikosynth grow unchecked there. Norn forbids any visitors to this in the lowest layer without her invitation, including other praetors. Hmm. The seed core is a place that serves as an incubation chamber for the tree, okay. Read the flavor text for distorted curiosity. <coughs> Free will is an illusion so perfect it fooled even me, I know better now. Yes. Just because when they get Phyrexianized and completed, they, their goals 
align with Phyrexia. <clears throat> so no reason that Jace is like, oh yeah. No no surprise that Jace is like, oh yeah, actually they have a point. So that's how the oil works. So in the in this in a sense that Phyrexian oil is a very contagious ideology. And we have the body horror to suggest that the uh, Phyrexia equals bad. The like teeth planes, like what the whatever the hell it is, right? Like capitalism, yeah, exactly. And scissor glider, two mana, one free, flying. Whenever it attacks, if an opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Wow. This is two mana, one. F this is insane. Maybe it's not insane, maybe just cards limited are much better nowadays than they used to be, but they seem very good. Fire actions are intolerant regarding other ways of living, which is why they're evil. I see. Urabrask is pretty tolerant from what I understand. At least more so than Elishnorn, I guess, which maybe is not much. Four mana, Phyrexian Cleric Toxic, 3 4. You may return under permanent control to Sonner's hand. If you do, create a might. So there's a pacifism in the deck, so it's good against pacifism. It has not bad stats and it can have a strong upside probably not insane probably kind of like filler ish but seems playable there's some four mirrodin cards where you can bounce them to to remake a token you can bounce something like a pacifism We'll have to see how easy it is to turn on Corrupted, but limited cards are definitely stronger. Yeah, there's been a lot of Toxic and Mice in White, so it seems like White is gonna be corrupting players. Isn't it kinda counterproductive if you have three Toxic Candles and then try to win with regular damage? Well, not necessarily. Because your cards deal both at the same time, so it's not really counterproductive, right? Because it's not like in fact was where they dealt either. Now they just deal both. Yeah, I guess for Merodin is living weapon, but not Phyrexian. It's pretty funny because that was the Phyrexian mechanic the last time so this is actually a Phyrex and equipment because it makes mites because two mana and three to equip that kind of sucks the effect is fine but They made a germ and under warm, I wouldn't even blink. It's a Phyrexian germ. Well, it does make creatures to equip their cell, but it costs 5 mana to, to do so. I guess Kadra doesn't equi explain living weapon, but I think they got Errata. Living weapon got Errata to make Phyrexian germs. So this card seems like it sucks in comparison to the others. Jawbone Duelist under cosplayer. Double Strike, Toxic 1. So it actually is Toxic twice. 
<coughs> I have room for a few more teeth in my collection. Who's next, bros? This is so cringe. This flavor text is so bad. Card seems okay. Strong, aggressive two drop. Well, relatively strong. Good with combat tricks. Too toxic if just unblocked. Not super, doesn't look super premium. Kemba, Ka Enduring. Once again, chat. Can you spot a difference between how Kemba used to look and how Kemba looks now? I personally can't, they look very similar. <clears throat> uh, when Kemba on their card enters, attach one equipment you control to that creature, equip plus one plus one. So equip creature control gets plus one plus one is pretty good with the four Merodin effects. Yeah, Pioneer Hammer maybe. We did think we did talk about that. I was deeply unimpressed by Pioneer Hammer, but this seems like a very strong limited two drop to get uh, like extra abilities in the mana sink, it all matters. Oh, there is a cut for Kemba to combo with. Ward 2, when equipped plus 1 plus 1, 3 mana, 3 2. It's pretty solid to have a card you can equip profitably and then also as ward. Pioneer Hammer needs Urza Saga and the core outfitter. I think it needs a core outfitter. But probably needs that, yeah. Seems like a replaceable three drop, but one I would not mind playing. With equipments in my deck. Mandible Justy Justy Sierra? What is Justy Cara? So they word? Alternative forms just care. Just care. Chad, is that normal to say just Sierra? English form of the medieval Latin term, okay. So it's like all spelling are complete. It's the same as spelling, like complete. I see. They should really improve their quality control. Look at the tiny hands here. <laughs> From the jaw hand, jaw arm rather. I don't know if this seems... I don't know if it's very useful. I mean, it's probably pretty good. I mean, you could just keep your arm closed. Well, they does have hands at the bottom of the of the arm. Two hands. Looks like a zip. While one mouth feeds, the other chatters mindless pants of Elish Norn's glory. Chatting. I like the design, but the Elish Norn color scheme everywhere is weird. Yeah, the human like Phyrexians are cosplaying and the. Very weird Phyrexians. They just are white. So it's like two mana, two one. Another two drop. There's so many two drops. Two one, two one lifelink. Oh wow, that seems another artifact. Are the mites artifacts? 
Yeah, smites are artifacts and it has lifelink. Seems like a solid two drop. So far every card was a solid two drop. There was four two drops and they were all solid aggressive two drops. Miran Barshi Barshilde. Berdish. Okay, I actually know what a Berdish is. Kinda. Not really, but I've encountered it in games yet previously. It's a weapon, bros. <laughs> Five mana. Four free. Wow, this sucks. Compared to the other cards. The Bardish. I thought it's spelled Berdish, but maybe it's both. If I Google Berdish, we can see this. This say Berdish. So it's like a small axe. Well, rather be small, it seems like a meter long, maybe. Yeah, then Ocean Metra, so it's longer. It's a long, it's a long axe. Spells are being reprinted. It is not now. But this kidding me like it sucks. It's longer than you, yeah. Is it the best way to carry it? The way this guy is doing so, or do he just want to get it into in the frame? I'm one meter seventy nine centimeters, so I'm slightly, ever so slightly, shorter than a birdish. But this card it seems to suck. Four free vigilance and then four mana to equip. Seems really bad compared to other cards. Ember Cleave and Mole also give insane stats that equip costs being higher as whatever. Yeah, but this is like a 4 for creature. It's not insane stats. For 5 mana. Can you convert to freedom units? It's 5 feet and 2 rocks. But living weapons are really good in draft, usually coming from Kaldame. Okay, but I just looked at the commons that were available there and it just... This seemed like one of the worst ones. There's other living weapons too, which equip for less than four. Maybe it's gonna have a place in the format. Mondrak, Glory Dominus. It's pretty big, this is a mythic. <clears throat> it's many mouths shouting and they're just walking into this and it's shattering the towers why is it doing so how does Mondrak attack doesn't look very mobile it seems like just screaming is good enough to shatter those towers uh, probably that it has no flying though <laughs> Maybe it just flies, but very, very close. Maybe it just levitates very close to the ground, so it doesn't have flying because you can fly over it. Twice that many tokens are created instead, and for free mana sacrifice to other artifacts and or creatures, put an instructable counter on Mondrak. This seems strong. There is might creating cards, so I just make twice as many. I did play Bayonetta to It's kinda similar, Elish kind of maybe a little bit of a similar vibe, Elish Norn, Phyrexians and the Bayonetta Angels. Norn's Wellspring, two mana. Rare. Whenever a creature control dies, cry one and put an oil. One tap remove two oil draw a card. 
should even go out and limit that. It's not very aggressive and seems slow and also I need to have it before any of your creature die. Seems pretty bad and not on par with the other cards. Orthodoxy Enforcer. So far, are, the, are they on a leash? Is she just walking them? Or is it like a chariot type situation where they're pulling her? <laughs> yes, it doesn't look like the mites would have enough strength to carry this lady. It looks like a lady. Maybe it's not a lady, even, but I assumed so because why, why of the dress? Who knows? Whoa, 4 mana, Vigilance, plus 2 plus 0 as long as you control 2 or more artifacts. So, if you have 2 or more artifacts, those are the 2 artifacts. They might sniff out any potential interlopers. He handles the rest, so as a he. Okay. Yeah, they might seem not to have a nose, so I don't know how they sniff. This looks like a replaceable common if you don't get the bonus pretty weak, if you get the bonus it's pretty strong. Ossification, one white, enchant basic land. It's not a pacifism, I thought it's a pacifism. But it's actually an oblivion ring. Two mana oblivion ring on creature. So I guess it's journey to nowhere or plain So it's a journey to nowhere and limited. Looks very nice. Four mana. Phyrexian Vindicator, it's a mythic. Flying. Five five. Seems like mono white is a playable deck, but it also seems very strong, so it's probably gonna be hard to draft my mono white deck. So it's probably gonna be hard to draft it in in limited. When damage would be dealt, prevent that damage, and when it's prevented, it retaliates that damage, so... It's mostly 5 mana, 4 mana, 5-5 five, five flying, and they're built and, like, unblockable, I guess. It's good at blocking, I guess, too. Seems pretty hard to play in limited. Okay, so ossification was an uncommon, and planar disruption is a common. Enchant permanent can attack or block, and its activated abilities can be activated. So it's, and also it's creature plane soccer artifact. So it's a very good pacifism. Two vindicators to the shock and have an elfellow. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't do anything, right? New fire access plan defenses scatter the planeswalker strike team on arrival. Eleanor knew they were coming. And Kaito is screaming, No, no, don't leave me. Wanderer. She doesn't even have a name. Now I understood why you're talking so much about limited. I was confused. Well, I look at the cards because of limited. That's why I'm talking about limited. I will be playing a PT draft, so I want to know the commons for that. <laughs> would be would be a good start. 
behind wall. The thing with uh, Wandering Emperor in lore is that uh, her spark is very unstable and she planeswalks literally every few seconds. And on Kamigawa, she was using the reality chip to get anchored into the plane. But I think Jinx has stolen it, so now she just kind of flickers. When this is out on MTGO in a in a while. February seventh, so it's still two weeks. Okay, ten days. I've heard that they already made Dark Six Shows legal in Pioneer. Let's check it. Well, it's not really a bug. Yeah, it's legal. It's that they already added the cards, right? And... I think they already made them legal. In the, like, that's all, how they always do it. They make the cards legal in the formats they're legal in. For example... LS Norn. Should just probably gonna be on Modo. Yeah, that card exists on Modo already. It's just that you can't get it. <laughs> I love how the Phyrexian fonts version doesn't have Phyrexian font. But yeah, the, the issue here is that the deck contains cards not in your collection, not that it contains illegal cards. So they made, they just add the set to Modo during a downtime. And they just don't release the cards until a certain day, but the reprints are actually legal already. How many wild cards do I have, Kenny? I don't. Will you buy a Wii Planeswalker skins from the store? What do you mean? That doesn't seem to exist. There will be skins for real money for Planeswalkers and Fastlands. On Modo? He's a phenomenal control player. Exclamation mark. Fifteen dollars for five completed planeswalkers. Crazy shit. Well, it's not. You just get the cards, right?
how much do you think they're gonna be selling on secondary market? I mean, it's five dollars for five past lands, so this is really a good deal because I assume the price of fast lands is gonna is higher than that on average, and it would be higher, but if you can just buy them. $20 for all of them. Yeah, Jace got completed and actually died in the story. Yeah, Gulduk had posted a, a screenshot of like 100 fastlands when they... Or maybe it was 500 fastlands, I'm not sure. Actually saying, waiting for the reprint. Twenty dollars plus tax. I oh, had yeah, a tax too. Well, it's probably gonna be for a limited time. We'll leave the store with the release of March of the Machine. You can set your country on Modo to some country that doesn't pay the tax and then you know, don't get taxed. Life hack. Anyone know why they don't need the Miran and Phyrexian watermarks anymore? Because everyone is... There's no Miran in Phyrexian's point of view. I live in Malta for real, I swear. Do you need a VPN to do that? I don't think so. I don't think so. You can think and just set it. <laughs> Any place you want. Probably even for just a transaction. What you propose is a serious crime punishable by up to three years in prison for the fraud, then a variable sentence based on the amount of tax evaded. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enforced on you if you do that. But I'm also not a... law advisor. <laughs> I would also think that played it on slot, free white white instant affinity plus two plus one until end of turn. This seems like us. Those cards always suck for me. And this can be two mana if you have a lot. You're probably gonna play it in a token heavy deck, so like I guess it's gonna be pretty cheap often, but I don't like it. Porcelain Zealot. You got Senai Japanese link, which I don't know why, but it's a nice link. All right, Pulse and Zealot. Four mana, two, three. Picking up command on your turn, target creature gets plus one, plus one. And if it has Toxic, it gets plus one, plus one again. Four mana, two, three. Another st aggressive card. This probably leads to good attacks. It's a 3 4, but has partial haste and can add plus 2 on toxic creatures. Seems solid.
Resistance reunited, one white, the instant, plus two plus two. Equip creatures you control gain and distract when the end of turn. So it's under two mana plus two plus two trick. With an upside, this one is uncommon. The other one was drawing a card if you target a toxic creature. This one is mirrored mirror in themed. What do you think of their smay of the smiles here? <laughs> Yeah, it could be double trick. It seems okay. They look very happy to see each other. Like so happy. Well, aren't you a sight for Sora? I said cough. I was about to say the same, my friend. Elspeth replied. Starry spotlight. Everyone's happy here. Aren't you a site for Sora? I switch at Senior Dancer, White Mana, 1 1. For tap, tap target creature, and Corrupted, tap, tap, tap target creature. So Tapper for a white mana is grey, Tapper for 4 mana is not playable. Well, it's not that playable either, it's, it's, pretty, it's just bad. But you might just run out of spells. See new dancer. This one doesn't seem like a cosplay. And that seems to have sort of wings, which I guess comes from Sinus. Seems okay, not overly great. Krell, the factor might. Looks like any other might. What is a defector? Deserter. So he fled. Can I say screlf ten times very fast? Screlf, 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 screlf. Might have been 11. Toxic one, can't block. Fire X and tap, choose a color. Under target creature control against toxic one and X proof from that color. It can be blocked by creatures of that color this turn. Seems really good and limited. And potentially constructed playable. Give her for Pioneer Hammer. Yeah. Skrelf's Hive. So Skrelf's a really big mind. Still a 1 1 though. Picking up her up, you lose one life and create a might. Corrupted. Creatures you control with Toxic also have lifelink to give you back the life. Skrelf's a she? I don't know. It's probably pretty strong to play this on turn 1 in limited, and the life loss gets offset by lifelink on toxic creatures, although the creatures can block. So once again, very aggressive. Turn 2 you mean? I said turn 2, yeah. White mana? 1-2 flying visions uncommon? What the heck? Why, what is this card doing? Maybe it's not that bad, but seems pretty bad.
It's hard to tell with this glare, but those who are this guy had the reinforcements, they have arrived at least. Prahan, Miran Rebel, sure bro. Clueless. The Eternal Wanderer. That card is a rare. Six mana. Only one creature can attack the Wanderer, and it makes for zero. You make Samurai to creature tokens with double strike. So this seems really hard to get off the board via combat. Seemed like some of the removal had planeswalkers. But in combat, you just can't kill the card, I think. So you have to use the removal for it. And the rare. Let's say six mana card. Plus one, exile one artifact or creature, return that card to the battlefield that it's called owner's control, the beginning of that place, next end step. That seems very situationally relevant, but mostly it seems like a worse ability than zero make a samurai. Although might be useful in some spots. Most walkers are busted and limited, so at least this costs 6. Well, this you can attack, though. You can attack with only one creature, and it always comes with a samurai. Which is a 2-2 with double strike. That's not a free attack to make, and there might be other blockers. And then, if you have a big board, you can just sweep it. For each player... You can just use minus 4 and keep her, damn. So, and you have, to, you get to keep like one creature versus their one creature so they can attack the Wanderer but not necessarily kill her. Well, it does seem like a very strong card. I would not be unhappy to open the Eternal Wanderer. Uh, Pack one, pick one, it seems. Look how cleanly she slides through this Firex and Beast. Yeah, they keep their worst creatures, they keep a might. You keep your best creature. And say rare. Insane. At least you can make her vanish into entirety for free mana. Mm, I guess. After she sweeps your board. So how is she able to stay on Mirrodin for some time? I don't know. I only read a little bit of the first story. And... She was flickering away on that story. Stories mono plot holes. Oh yeah, name one plot hole. Something is keeping her only flickering on mirror instead of between planes, so she's flickering but just between spheres and planes. Damn, that sucks. So this card doesn't seem like super main deck will for 6 mana exile a creature, but... It might be useful to have one in the sideboard. Versus people with Eternal Wanderer. How does she eat? It's a good question. Well of Assimilation, one white. Artifact. 
when it or another artifact enters the battlefield under control, take action, blah 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 blah, plus one plus one gains vigilance. It seems no, not the type of a card I like in limited typically. White Sun's Twilight. What happened to Elishnor in here? What is she? Why does she have so many halls? Is that a monument? Those are the plot halls, yeah. What about all the other planets on the plane? There's no other planets, just the suns. I think the planes might actually just be a like miss intentional slight misspelling of planets and plane soakers are actually just astronauts which is like complete complete with the complete e80 maybe that's a theme in magic but i also read i i have also read that mirrodin is artificially made and is 500 kilometers in radius or in diameter it's very small let's make sure once again it's not a disc no it has literally has spheres circumference of 1400 Kilometers Diameter of around 550 kilometers The outer sphere of the plane The Earth's circumference is 40,000 kilometers, yeah, and the radius is 6 6,000 something <clears throat> So it's really small. It's like Dante's Circles of Hell, right? Yeah. But I guess to be fair, they are making use of the entirety of the of the sphere, right? It's not like Earth where the inside is just useless. You can you can deep what's the deepest hole on earth deepest place on earth the mariana trench is how many like 20 kilometers deep something right 200 kilometers it's a bit more <laughs> no 200 kilometers east of mariana islands how deep is it if Mount Everest were placed into the trench at this point, its peak would still be underwater by more than two kilometers. So it is 10 kilometers deep. And its deepest... Deepest point, the Mariana Trench. And that's the deepest known place on Earth. So... You know, the rest of the of the earth, the entire volume of the sphere is it's kinda useless. And on Phyrexia they have a small plain planet but they're just making good use of it by having basilicas the forge here the forest draw spits you know all that stuff so 
Anyways, white suns twilight, X white white. Create X mites. If X is five or more, destroy all their creatures. You gain X life too. I mean, it seems like an okay card for for five, six mana. And then the flexibility for being seven plus seems really good too. How will they live with no suns? Fire actions are largely mechanical, so they don't actually need life for biological processes. <clears throat> seems more than okay. Well, for, I think for five mana, it seems okay. They need energy. Yes, but there are different ways to gain energy from, from the sunlight. Maybe they store the energy on the outer layer and they transport it somehow. Although they pr there's probably no explanation for that. They just... They just do. Secure the waste is better. Yeah, when I open this card in my pack, I will look at it. I will think, hmm, secure the waste is better and I'm going to pick secure the waste instead. Good point. I mean, I don't even think it necessarily is. The, like, the real juice of this card is 5 mana, x5, 7 mana option. See, lots conviction. Flash enchant creature gets plus 1, plus 1. Oh, that sucks. Not really, I guess, the combat trick. It's a white mana, plus one, plus one, and if it has corrupted, it's a white mana, plus two, plus one, first strike, and it just stays on the creature. It's an aura, but with flash, it's actually okay. Yes, five mana, seven mana is pretty busted, but it does not seem to necessarily align with like the rest of the color, but I guess it's still pretty great and limited because you can also play it for a smaller amount, so it does seem like a bomb to me, yeah. Aspirants Ascent. Kane's Flying and Toxic One. Well, that's a whatever combat trick. Kane's Flying. Kane's Toxic One. Plus one, plus. That's such a weird set of abilities. Because, I mean, maybe it's okay in some small amounts. But you're supposed to sorcery speed cast it. I think they want you to have ways to start the poison for proliferate. Sure. White has no proliferate, but I guess blue will. Whenever you cast a non creature, put a little oil on Atmosphere Surgeon. Remove an oil counter. 2 mana, 2 1. And can give flying to creatures. Don't like what they did with the mechanics in this set. What do you mean? It is Jengitaxian's. Deepest exasperation at any part of his domain still requires maintenance. What is an exasperation? He doesn't like that. Yeah, for Meradin being living weapon is kind of weird. But Sadie Cream also doesn't like magic anymore, so it seems like not much will, would please him. Uh, another copy of Creature Recontrol. This is a free mana tutu. Equip 2. And potentially pretty good with. Um, I don't know if it's like necessarily a first pickable rare. Maybe it's gonna be good. 
Blue Sun Twilight. Gain control, Vexus 5 of more, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Really good controlling card in limited. So from these first impressions, I already know I won't have any regrets if I skip drafting the set. Well, we've only looked through one color. But this seems like a really good control card. Bomb. Bomb rare, expensive though. Bring the ending. And Jace is saying, oh! And Kaya is saying, no! Two mana. Quench. Counter spell if to corrupt it. I mean, two mana, one blue counter spell is pretty good. So, depends on how easy is it to corrupt them. Also, it says it's controller, yeah. Chrome Prowler. It's funny, I'm actually using Google Chrome right now. And I'm looking at the card Chrome Prowler, ironic, right? Flash, free mana, enter, stop, target champion controls. It's not too bad. Aggressive again. Maybe it's a, it's a bit defensive too. I guess it plays okay on both aggress aggressiveness and defense. The Star of Curiosity. So it's Divination, Uncommon, and draw two cards for point as three or more poison counters. Damn. One mana Divination is kinda insane. But I'm not sure if the the blue cards what they do aligns very well with corrupted. Kinda doesn't feel like it. Like, Divination doesn't seem to align with gaining point poison counters on their opponent early in the game. So it's kind of weird. Encroaching Mycosynth. Oh! So do you know what Mycosynth does? It changes flesh into metal and metal into flesh. So it does anything, I guess, you want. Blah, 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 blah. All right, this is a bulk rare, I think. I haven't actually read that beautifully, but I think it makes stuff into artifacts. I will make a proper set review for Constructed on Monday, but I'm just looking at the limited cards today. Am I made of metal or flash? Flash, personally. Feels like the most unplayable cards in the set are all rares. But it seemed like there were many rares that seemed like bombs. Escaped experiment, Phyrex and Beast. Two mana. This is a two one. Takashi blah 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 blah. Aggressive once again. It doesn't seem to combine with the control cards. So I don't know, is blue supposed to be aggressive too? But just has a few control cards. I wish Toxic was just in fact. Well, in fact, plays pretty bad and limited, I think. I haven't played back then, but it does seem like it would be extremely awkward and limited. Where it's just useless to pick creatures for you that either have infect or do not have infect.
So this is anticipate proliferate. Proliferate to enable the corrupted. Maybe you can do that. Eye of Malkator. Artifacts, cry to whenever under artifact enters the battlefield under control, becomes a 4 4 fire XN eye until end of turn. Wow. Aggressive card again. Font of Progress. Enters with two oils, take a play mills, whatever. Wait. Free mana tap mills X where X is the number of all counters on font of progress. So technically a win con possible. I can proliferate the amount of counters and then use it early the game to win. It's an uncommon. I first I read it like that I assume it's gonna remove a counter to mill, but it actually is not how it works. So it's actually a little bit interesting. If you want to build a like hyper control deck with which dodges removal with its win con maybe even every single LR review they say wow the cards in the set are so aggressive. Yeah. Gitaxian Anatomist, that's an Elish Norn styled headpiece. When it end, when Gidax and Anatomist enters the battlefield, you may tap it if you do proliferate, okay. So blue is about proliferating, but you can proliferate your own oil counters or poison on your opponent. Not much else. For example, not many plus one plus one counters that we've seen. In fact, none so far, so they didn't want you to proliferate that. Texan Raptor, free mana. With free oils, remove an oil, plus one, minus one. This is, this is nice. Yeah, no plus one, plus one counters entirely. This card seems okay. It proliferate the counters and it gives you a bit a lot of flexibility and it's a good blocker and a good attacker. I like it. It makes sense for a set not to have plus one plus one counters when it has minus one minus one counters for clarity. That if you have a die on a card that you know which direction it's gonna go. Blue mana O3, this is very non-aggressive. Oh, you have, to, I don't know. The, the Sigil Starfish was surprisingly good, right? But... It's not quite that. Not every turn. I think being able to do that forever every turn is a kind of a big part. Worth trying to see how it actually plays in the game, but... There is some blue cards that look like very aggro cards, and there are some blue cards that look like very non-aggro cards. Mythic, your planes because you control, so that's useless for limited. For the most part, I assume. Well, 0-4 for one mana. That's a big bad. Ikor Syn Synthesizer, the sound of the future. My name is Giorgio Arman. Or money. It just made me think. Whenever I see the word synthesizer, I think of that Daft Punk song, that Daft Punk song that people request in my channel often. Where Giorgio, my name is Giorgio, a guy says that his name is Giorgio with a thick Italian accent. And he says that synthesizer is the sound of the future. Giovanni or Giorgio, not Giorgio Armani. Giorgio Armani is a different to Giorgio, yeah. This 
Synthesizer. Whenever you cast a young creature spell, put an oil counter on the icon Synthesizer. This plus two plus one can be blocked. Well, one three is kind of weak. So before it gets to gets there, it's pretty weak. But when it gets there, it's a very solid card. Three three can be blocked. Kind of kind of solid. Not sure about blue cards. J is a perfected mind. I mean, draws cards every every now and then, every third turn, maybe three cards when you mill 20, but probably draws one card. Seems kind of weak and limited, actually, on the weaker side, like playable for sure, not exciting. Still can be a free mana playing soccer that makes it hard for a point to attack, eventually gives you advantage, you can proliferate it, etc. So... Malkator's Watcher. When dice to a card, flank vigilance, two mana, one one. Why is it flying vigilance? Who is Malkator? Seems okay. I'm not sure about obvious synergies with this. Depends on a borset, but could easily be four mana up and miss how their deck and limited. Three times X cards, a mill five, card, five, fifteen cards. I guess artifact centering, yeah. On top of your library, four mana. <laughs> There's two heads there. Dangling. Imagine a giant room like a library, except instead of books, it's filled with body parts. Oh, there's more heads. A resistant spy master, damn, Kara. You definitely are a spy master. Meld weeps, strida. Vehicle. Enters with an oil. Remove an oil becomes artifact creature and crew free. That's interesting. Vigilance too. Nice synergy with this. It's five mana five five, so you don't get much. Like that's stats for five mana, but. Doesn't look unplayable to me. Can be blocked, yeah, the other. Right, this list would have I just probably fine not reading this right now. Mesmerizing dose. Skarook? No, but it looks like the Venser helmet. But it's just a cable. Tap, then proliferate. Doesn't tap, so it's claustrophobia and you proliferate. Enchant creature only. Seems okay. Mines plays apparatus, unlimited and whatever unplayable. Prologue to fire SS, one blue instant. Damn you. Fire seeing a person, goblin. Please, for science, tell me how it feels. Leave nothing out. And the goblin's like, Wah. feels bad, man. Oh, thank you, thank you for the input. Yeah, yeah. Minor misstep and limited seems not good. 
Not relevant. Quick, quick sliver finisher, 5 mana. Flying, ETB, draw, then discard for free. Seems like a premium blue common, although a 5 drop. Reject imperfection. Counter spell, if it was cheap, proliferate. So that's a cancel, so medium. Serum snare, return. If we are less proliferate. I bring a message from the autonomous fern arg. Lol. Arg. Good message. Tamiya's immobilizer. This is literally calm. Calm powering already. For all counters, remove an oil, tap target artifact or creature. You need to proliferate a lot, but it's technically technically I see manipulator. The thing with those cards is that you have to proliferate while you still have counters on them, and that's just makes them much less flexible. I haven't seen any way of putting a counter on creatures. On oil counters on creatures out of nowhere yet. Throwing birds, so that proliferates a lot, that's okay. Also the blue cards don't really have toxic, so you can proliferate a lot, but they don't have toxic. Tamiya's long book. Three mana, five blue tap draw. Cost one less for a activate future artifact you control. So if you have five artifacts, it gets really, really good. That seems a bit tough. Plus one, plus three pump and toxic. Yeah, which is why I said not really. This also has toxic, but. Tecutal Inquiry Dominus. I kind of hate this card. 4 mana, 5. 3, 5 flying. If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. But it doesn't let you proliferate you itself. And it doesn't put counters on anything itself. It's still decent stats and limited, but it needs both a source of counters. And needs a source of proliferate, so... I mean, I guess you can proliferate the indestructible counter on it, yeah, so you can have multiple counters, that's true. My mistake. You may draw a card, if you do this card, card, put a card from your library at the bottom of the library. Oh, so it's to always loot. It's to make you always loot. Mopey stats, but lots of looting. Free mana. Put gets an all counter. Okay, so no plus one plus one counters, but it gets plus one plus one for each oil counter on it. Sneaky. Uncut. Grand Meter Attacked. It's very fine and limited. I read it when somebody plays it against me. Toxic one. When energy battlefield up to one target artifact, the control becomes an artifact. 4-4. Four, four. For as long as Uncut's retrofitter remains on the battlefield. Kind of weird to have Toxic on this. Like, doesn't seem to mesh, but... 
It doesn't seem like you have that many super, like, shitty artifacts, but you can get a might to a 4-4, four four, that's solid. Draw three cards, proliferate, that's 5 mana. VV Surgeon's Insight. So VV, VV Surgeon, so that means that you do it well, that's life. Experiment log 290, leaving the subject's pain receptors active appears to yield an unprecedented combination of incoherence and hyper-awareness. Sick. Alright, white cards seem better than... thank you for the raid. White cards seemed better than uh, blue ones to me. When dice throw cards equal the number of all counters. <sighs> and this we've won. Let's see, f f six mana four four. It seems like blue is trying to mostly be controlling, but it's kind of a weird way. Just like get uh, stuff with counters proliferate on it, Phyrex and Construct. Enters the battlefield, you may pay two life when you do take a trigger, it's one, so you can kill a creature. Seems solid. Annihilating Glare. So this is one mana, sac pay for or sacrifice an artifact, this is like actually a planeswalker, it seems very nice. Five mana to kill, or you can sacrifice a might to kill something too. For one mana, one splinters. Pretty nice blood splinters. Que agradecido. Uh, ne habla espanol. Please, speak in English. Or I'll be forced to time me out with chatters. Exile a creature if it has mana value free or less, and corrupted any creature. A solid limited removal. I've, again, corrupted hard to evaluate. The power creep is real. I mean, Smother has been printed, what, like 25 years ago. Let it go, like, Pale Push is also literally better than Smother. It's fine. It's fine to power creep is smaller. Arcfiend of the Dross. Four mana. It's a rare. For all counters, upkeep remove an oil. Then if it has no oil, you lose the game. So you get to attack with it three times, right? And then you have to proliferate. It's probably playable. But you probably want to have either ways to sacrifice or proliferate it, but it seems like it should kill your opponent a decent amount of the time and you can just keep attacking with it and what they're gonna do. They have to kill it or it's gonna kill them. I don't think there's a card that gives it to your opponent in this limit. That's it. There's some response, then you die next upkeep still. <clears throat> Failure School Dweller, Block Mana, Death Touch Toxic One. Mm. That's not good at blocking mites. Black Sun's Twilight. Removal and return a creature. From your graveyard to the battlefield tab, seems like a huge blowout. So it seems like a really good card and costs only six mana. Two mana, two two toxic one when dice proliferate, seems okay. Looks like a small rat head on a big rat head. Three mana, flying corrupted. When an opponent has three or more opponent counters, it has death touch and lifelink, okay. 
PT creature enter stopped. I think it's good enough as it is, yeah. But of course it would be better. Corrupted second artifact or creature drag card. Just unbound by cost. Black Wind Rig with Upside SMH. Start power creep because it ne was never the case. This looks like a solid six drop. Stabilizer. Five five death touch. My death touch kinda kinda whatever, but sure why not? Each opponent discards a card, and if they can't, you gain four life. So you can stabilize versus aggro, or be a good threat against Swiss control. Who skipped this song? I didn't even see the request. Centurion. Ooh, we can use the instant speed only once each turn, but instant speed. Not too bad. Not great either, I guess. It's a free mana 2 2. But we can sacrifice artifacts. Doesn't seem like there's many throwaway artifacts except the mites. Drive not card cringe dominus eight free for five mana for two Phyrexian doesn't even require a mana payment besides that. Three creature cards from your graveyard, so very expendable resource. Put a indestructible counter. That's kinda kinda sick. Eight free indestructible hits pretty hard. Drown and Nicor, two mana, minus four, minus four proliferate at sorcery, strong removal, uncommon. Feed the inflection for mana, you draw free, you lose free. And then each opponent loses free. What happens on the artwork? These guys are just pillars. They wish to become vital parts of the draw spits. Azax Azok granted their request. Who? Doesn't have a card. Flashless Gladiator. Return top, you lose one life. Is it two mana two two? Pretty minor upside. Does seem like it has boobs though, so I don't know about Fleshless. Get Thane of Constructs. This looks like one of the what you see employees, I don't remember the name. Or former, what you see, employees. Yeah, Sam Stoddard. It does look like Sam Stoddard. Mm. Vaguely. Seems interesting. Unlimited. Maybe good if you don't have one toughness creatures in your deck. Can't use mites. 
Like pretty strong ability when it sticks. Gulping Scarp Trap. Scrap Trap. Enters or dies, proliferate 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Bros, why they are making the flavor text so cringe? This is so, so bad. Does anyone else hear that horrible crunching sound? Jeez, the fucking writing on those flavor texts. Why, why, why they have to say shit like that? MCU humor, yeah. So bad. Hate it. Bro, I don't want to open a new tab, I want to open the graphic as a new tab. Infectious Inquiry, 3 mana, sorcery, you draw 2 and you lose 2, Japan gets a poison counters. There is both a draw 2, lose 2, and draw 3, lose 3. You will run out of life. Japan gets a poison counter, fine. Karu Monix, the Rat King, Free Mana, Toxic One. Seems like a fine card to have as a care filler. Free Mana, Free Free Toxic. Toxic Two, when Sanctuary dies, return that card to the battlefield under control. This seems not like something that you should play ever. Necrosquito. <laughs> it's just for mana. Phoenix, I know I can. I just live my life how I want and I choose to perform the actions I choose and make peace with that. So this is all counters as plus one, plus one counters. It's a 2-2. Two, two. When... Your artifact or creature dies, it gets a counter for 4 mana, doesn't seem overly impressive. Five mana. Did you see the video preview for Necrosquito? I did not know. Seems like a decent amount of effort for a unremarkable card, which is a little bit interesting. It's silly the best song in Kaniki's stream ever. Did they stop giving you spoilers because you disagree with recording promos like this one, Kani? No, I just don't ask them. But I, there was also a video of a different card spoiled by the same lady. Just some...
to this day I remember it was this and she had a big thing attached to her butt like this it was dancing with it and it was also a very unremarkable card a two mana one free land full gain one yeah that stuck with my memory so I guess it's an effective way to show off cards don't you have to pay them for it now I don't think so also, you have to ask them to give them publicity noted. Yes, which is why I don't. Will we play today? Actually, no. I'm going to look at the cards and I'm going to finish the stream. This seems really solid. Good card advantage for mana, toxic to 5. Offer immorality. Two mana. Death touch indestructible on the end of turn. Actually, this is not too bad for a combat trick. You makes you win a combat always. Death touch indestructible. Hmm. Can never use it to push damage through, but you can attack. So you push damage through that way. Two mana flying toxic one one one. Hmm. This is a bit hard to evaluate to me. It looks kind of shit, but maybe it's okay. We've seen better versions lately of indestructible death touch. This looks very uncanny valley, like too real. And the way Vraska's Tubes are fleshy, still here. It's kind of weird. Would feel like they would start should start at on their head. Well, but bro doesn't have death touch, which death touch makes you win every combat. But it's probably better, yeah. If you get. Plus one, plus one counters. Because we don't really care about saving small creatures as much either. And using combat tricks defensively always a bit shaky. <clears throat> Fikes and Arena. I don't know if it's going to be good limited. I, it's, I'll have to see. Phyrex and Obliterator, Uncastable and Mythic. Doesn't matter. Ravenous Necrotitan. Sacrifice a creature unless an opponent controls three or more points on counters. Uh, I don't know, the payoff is worth the squeeze. 6-6 six, six for 4 mana, no keywords. Scamming Aspirant. When you proliferate, each opponent loses 2 and you gain 2. That seems solid. If you the, There was plenty of proliferate in blue-black, seemed like. Shoulders Addict. Addict typically not great, but you can at least, they can sacrifice a might. So better than usual. 2-4 menace toxic too. Seems like black cards have high toxic counts. Sting and some proliferate, so... Seems like Black is actually trying to toxic the players out. Stinging Hive Master, 3 mana, toxic 1. Dice into a Might, seems solid. Testament better, 4 mana. When dice, look at top 3, 1 to your hand and the rest into your graveyard, it's 4-1. I like this. Can't block mites, but the mites can't block it. And you can just deal for damage to your opponent. And then if you trade it for something, you get to redraw a good card. Seems like a quite good card, although no toxic for damage. Kind of a mismatch here. 
That is sweet, but 4 mana, 4 mana doesn't seem too great. Well... Yeah, it might be more of a blocking creature. But emergence, 5 mana. Reanimate, proliferates. 5 mana, seems mid. But of rebirth. This is lots of what counters. Yeah, might scant blocks. So four one is not as bad, I think. Vran Executor Thinner Train. Fire and Vampire. Whenever one or more creature coders you control die. Drain two once each turn. Two two. Soon enough, each Praetor will have hired me to kill the others and I will send alone as the true father of machines. Wow, big ambition. Vraska, you draw one proliferate, six starting, loyalty for six mana, or it's for, for four mana, five mana. It seems powerful. Seems like bomb, bomb level card. Tiger Kitcher becomes a treasure. And then minus nine, almost kill your opponent. But proliferate seems very relevant, so it seems like a pretty good card. Because you draw a card and proliferate. Do you lose one life, actually? Not sure. Each opponent sacrifices a creature point and gets a poison counter. So another addict. Hmm. I mean... Maybe it's gonna be possible to build like it entirely, but I sacrifice a creature against my so bad. Whisper of the draws, black mana. Minus one, minus one, proliferate. All will be one, five mana mythic. When you put one or more counters. All will be one to use that much damage to target opponent creature and opponent controls or a plain soccer. This seems to me like it sucks. You can make proliferate and deal some damage multiple times, but high chance of not doing anything. Gain control and you may destroy all the equipment. That's kind of weird. Because you would like to attack with the equipments. It seems like there is a decent amount of blue-black poison control cards, so it does seem like a plausible archetype. Not sure if it's good. Gonna be good, but seems worth attempting. Discard draw. Two mana, one free. This seems unexciting. I will not rest until the truth of Fire X is inscribed across the multiverse, okay. So many cards, limited bros. How does one play limited? It's so hard to remember all the cards. Yeah, blue black is proliferate matter. There's lots of proliferate. Barbed butterfish, two mana. Four Merodin, plus two, plus one. Minus one, rather. It's not, it's plus one, minus one, so it's a free one monster with slight upside. Bladecraft as prowl. What is the battle type card? It's gonna be, it's like Tarmogoyf, we don't know. Probably gonna know next set or in a few sets. Probably new from what they said.
seems like replacement level free drop with some abilities plunging crescendo plus three plus one wow we exactly play that's such a weird ability on a combat trick cycling cacophony scam Deals damage to a player, you may suck it, then if you do proliferate, when it dies, it deals damage. It seems more like a constructed card with like hammer or something. But in limited, it seems medium. Hellriser. Mythic Dragon, sounds good for limited. Chimney Rabble. Fire Axe and Goblin creature tokens, so there is some Goblin tokens. Chimney Rabble. Four mana, three free haste, and you make a goblin. Seems solid. Uh, put an oil counter on another target non token artifact or creature control. So, this is a source of oil counters and other things. And you can make a goblin. If an old counter was removed from a permanent, you control this turn or a permanent with an old counter and it was put into a graveyard this turn. Don't you remove the counters from a permanent when it changes zones? Probably doesn't actually work like that within the rules. It's hard to evaluate that card, doesn't seem like some the type of a card I like, maybe it's okay. This is a rare 4 4 haste flyer dragon. Fuzeling, red mana, trample, plus one, plus zero for each oil. When something dies, put an oil, but only grows face, kinda, kinda rough. Forge Hammer Centurion, three mana. Whenever something dies, put an oil. When the tax some can block if you remove two oils, okay. Free from flesh. Plus two plus two, put two oil. Interesting combat trick. Furnace Punisher. Free mana free free menace. Unless you can draw two or more basic lands. Somebody gets mana screwed on one land and they play you play this and you punish them. That seems like good stats, overall decent stats aggressively. Free free menace. And there's with two oil counters, remove oil counters, take two control gain haste. So it basically has haste. And haste's your next thing too. For five mana, four five, not too bad. Gleeful Demolition, this is the Kuldafari Bird. I don't know if it's gonna be limited viable, it's hard to say. You can destroy might, I guess, to make it free goblins. I don't know if we achieve much. One damage to each creature point controls, four mana. Can't block. Doesn't seem great. Hex gold halberd. Or Mirrodin. As long as it's your turn, equipped creature equipped creature. Has fast check and trample. Okay. I thought it's gonna be equipped creatures for some reason, but it's actually a big difference here. Yeah, Shatter might be good enough. Two damage if toxic, four damage. Nice shock variant. That's better than shock. Cough, fire of resistance. Plus two get a mountain. Minus three deal damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains. Minus seven. Whenever you get a mountain, this emblem deals four damage. He really likes mountains. There was an equipped creatures equipment. Unless I misread it. Those equipped creatures you control have flying. But maybe I misread it now, I don't know. We need to go back and check.
So you can plus, plus, minus, and then you probably should win by playing mountains and dealing four damage. Seems again okay, but not groundbreaking. Will you say for Merodin at the PT or just say you create a 2 2 token? I'll say I may I say 2 2 token. Kudofa Kakler. Hiena. They had Hienas on Merodin. Whenever Kudofa Kakler attacks, it gets plus X plus O until end of 10, where X number of permits you control with all counters on them. Seems like a replaceable free drop. How is Hiena in Polish? It's Hiena. But spelled with a, yeah, like Burek said. 3 2, haste. Seems like a replaceable free drop. ETB put two oil counters on target alpha tree control. And then it, you return it? Wow, that seems. Hmm. Like, maybe some synergies are worth it, but I doubt it. Five damage to extra planeswalker for five mana at sorcery. These are target equipment. Choose one or both. But seems like replacement level removal. Now here is sacrifice. Who the hell are those people? Second artifact or creature of mana value X. Nahiri deals X damage to the you choose. Resident Sleeper. Oxida Finisher. Affinity for equipment. Trample. 7 5. It costs 7 mana to begin with. That's a lot. Probably too much. I mean, six minus seven, five trample is not the worst. You can play the card. And maybe it's going to be cheaper if you have lots of equipment. So under affinity for equipment, five damage for instant. Whoa. That's awesome. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Rebel Salvo. I'll skip the rare for now. Let's look at the rest of the commons and uncommons. This is what interests me so far. We're gonna review the rares on Monday. Firex and Boar Beast, nice. Kaya having hex proof, she does got seven mana. Toxic is not go no it's not go through the stack. It's just damage. Oh wow, and there's colorless artifacts. We just had Kaito and Emperor and Kamigawa, why make them again? Because they're important to the story. Because they're on Phyrexia. I 
A ti nekem kell az asszony jeregel. Red Sands Twilight destroy X artifacts. If X is five or more for each artifact, create a copy for a turn. So the events doesn't seem that great. Menace reach five mana five five. This sucks. Trapna slinger. When it enters, you may suck. If you do this artifact, no point controls. It seems okay. Nice upside on a 2 2. It was an uncommon, the 5 mana 5 5. Thrill of possibility. You can see Nahiri's goals aligning with Phyrexia, bros. She needed to protect what she loved from Phyrexia, or maybe only Phyrexia could protect what she loved. Damn. When ETB is X damage to any target with X number of permanents control with all counters. Seems like most permanents gonna have all counters. So it could be a 4 mana 4 to shock. Vault charge, free damage to any target proliferate, solid. Instant. Wool Shock Splitter, uh, 4 Merodin, plus 2 plus 0, so it's 4 mana for 2 with the uh, equipment upside, okay. Adaptive Spore Slinger. Target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 against Vigilance. Or Proliferate. <sighs> What's the cost? 3 mana? 3 mana. Not too bad, I guess green proliferates too. Those build your own cav are usually very good. Yeah. Seems pretty good that card. Armored scrap gorgia. Free free. As long as that's free or more all counters. Whenever you tap for mana, you get an all carter. Eat, sword, eat, sword, eat. Becomes a free free. It's a mana dork, all free. Seems pretty good to me. Two mana free one, toxic two. Two mana free two, uncommon. One sacrifice, choose one. Finally, this is a free to set phases up, not really, but it can largely, okay, I thought so. So is Toxic a better in fact? Not really. Toxic always sets up, deals a set amount of Toxic, right? But I thought this is gonna replace any mention of Outland Liberator and Constructed, but Liberator has upsides too. Strictly worse, in fact. It's not strictly worse, in fact. Because you deal damage. At the same time. So, it's an, up it's an upside. Yeah, Liberator flipping is quite relevant, unfortunately, which is gonna be sad. Carnivorous Canopy. Destroy Artifact and Shaman or Flying, if free or less proliferate, okay. Contagious Finiac. <sighs> so you may take a land or you may proliferate. And free f what? Free mana, free free, draw a land, and if you don't want a land, you proliferate? What? It's a common.
Well, Aggie, I'm not arguing with your listener else statement, but you said that it's worse. It's not strictly worse. So it's abs a clear upside. Wow, this is insane. The pig. So good. Dry land. But also another option if you miss or if you don't want to. Fro free mana, free free. Insane. It's like the new Capena free mana, free free almost. The one that makes a treasure and has Vigilance Trample. That was also an, an insane card. Well, I, I never played a cap, new Capena draft, so I actually don't know if it ended up being that good. Probably it was. Jewel Thief, I think, was the name, yeah. This seems very lame compared to the previous card. Evolving Adaptive. This is Experiment 1. Add on common. Might be, it's okay. Expand the sphere. Look at the top six. So then you grab lands. If you put fewer than two, proliferate the number of times equal the difference. Okay. So you can ramp or you can proliferate again. Acor split basilisk. Free mana, one free death dash toxic one. There is a black one mana one one with death touch and toxic one. Incubation suck. <laughs> it's just something funny about this suck to me. I don't know what. What is this? <laughs> Remove an oil, create a free free color Phoenix and Golem. Wow. So it enters with free and it's free golems, but just really expensive. This one needs a bit longer to ripen, so it's just like Sun Slayer. Control player. It's very Hi. slow. But only for a certain type of a game, it's gonna be insane, but only for a very certain type of a game. If your opponent attacks you, probably very slow. He's a phenomenal control player. 44 months, ain't no way man. That chest. Yeah, thank you Timo, thank you Luis, me numbers. Very base for your subs. Here we see Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy spitting in the eye of Nissa. I don't know if she likes it. Deals damage equal to the target creature, so it's rabbit bite instant and also gives a poison counter. Hmm. Seems okay. Uncommon. Lattice Blade Mantis. Two oils. When the taxi remove an oil. Tak jeszcze z pół godziny. Tak, potem zacząłem o kartach gadać. I zaraz będę kończyć jakoś. Attacks as a 5-4 twice. And as vigilance. 5-4 vigilance for fourth. That's all it starts. I mean, actually, I don't know if it's solid stats. Everything has solid stats, so nothing has solid stats. That's a beefy four drop. Flash aura. Flash auras are much better than sorcery speed auras. For what it's worth, and it also can be a protection spell. If you have toxic mans in your deck, so for free mana, probably filler, but doesn't seem too bad. 
Creatures control get plus two plus two to the end of turn. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its control gets a poison counter. Very weird overrun. What do all counters do? They do nothing by themselves. You just have them on creatures and they tell you what they do with them. Five mana free four, potentially gain free draw. This is literally Uro. If you have a little oil. Oil Gorger Troll. Paladin of Predation, seven mana. Phyrexian Knight, six, Toxic, six. <laughs> Oh wow. Well this is probably gonna poison you if it hits you. Duck six six. Can we block by small creatures too? Seems a powerful finisher if you like ramp to it somehow or something. Seems like all the colors do do oil counter stuff and proliferate stuff and uh, toxic stuff. So see, all the uh, colors kind of seem the same. Enders with all counters, remove oil, plus two, plus two, but he has to tap, two mana, mm, that's two mana is okay. Plague Nurse, four mana, three, four, toxic two, each other creature control with toxic one, toxic gains toxic one till end of turn, activate only once each turn. Other creature. Seems very filler, although it's a very fair lady. Let's find Cultivator, put an all counter, remove an all counter, untap target land. So kind of a shitty mana dork, but it does not ramp you to a free drop. I'll probably a bit too bad overall. Although it's a creature that can always have all counters. Mm, one, two weak stats. Don't like it much. Two mana sorcery plus one plus two. It fights. Solid fight spell. Does it tap for five colors? No, it only untapped the land. Can untap Lotus Field, I guess. True. Although, no way it's gonna be Lotus Field playable. So, it will never do that. Can't be blocked by creatures with flying. What's the lore justification for that? Six mana six five reach trample. It's probably better than Colossal Dreadmo. Tiny bit. Silvok Battle Chair. Plus four, plus four, and a trample. This is Colossal Dreadmo. Literally Colossal Dreadmo. Uncommon. Yeah, now it's a battle chair. Gaming chair, yeah. Search for a basic or proliferate. How many cards have proliferated in this set? It feels like there is 10 every color. New Vantage Cube Stable. <laughs> True. Titanic Grove plus 4 plus 4. Unremarkable. Tyrannax Atrocity. 5 mana. Haste. 4 4. Green Haste. Toxic Free. It seems like. 
It's going to be really easy to die in this set. Like, seems kind of hard to imagine the game to board, to, to get to a board soul situation looking at those cards. Many of them attack well. And there's so much proliferate that lots of cards just have incidental burn. Yeah, Toxic Free of Haste is pretty solid. Which is the threshold toughness? I don't know yet. So it's whatever. Tivar stuns, plus X plus X gains X, X proof indestructible. So it's X proof indestructible for a win, one mana, but also an X burn spell sometimes. Pretty strong modality. Also, where where is Tibalt, bros? Why is Tibalt not in the story? When they write songs about this battle, I will make sure your name is Forgotten Devil. And Tibalt's like, no. Maybe Tibalt will get a card in Phyrexia Bros. A dying off screen, very sad. When it enters, you may pay and proliferate, yeah. And the 4 mana 4-4, four, four, toxic free. Solid stats. Very curvy. Viral spawning sorcery. Create a beast with toxic one for free free, okay. It has flashback for free mana. If they are corrupted. I mean, it seems like you corrupted cards will trigger a lot because it's just toxic proliferate on every other card. And this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The signpost uncommons, I guess. Four mana flying. Power is equal to the number of artifacts you control. So blue white is half lots of artifacts. Nice juicy toughness on this. Blue black is Phyrexian Bot, Toxic 1, 2, 1. When you proliferate, return it from your graveyard to your hand. So blue black is trying to be corrupted slash proliferate, which is why the uncommon doesn't do either of those that, but it's really strong. Like really strong turn to play, you can attack with it, you can trade away, and then you can just proliferate get it back and block so you can block proliferate get it back replay it damn i guess it does corrupt yeah it doesn't have corrupt itself but it does have toxic it seems like a good enabler and good payoff and a good early play very solid card i like it more than the blue white one Charforger, Firex and Beast. When LTB make Goblin, when something dies, put in all counter. Creature or artifact die, you dies you control. Put in all. Remove free oils. Exile top card. You may play that card this turn. I think it's dropping the goblins off. <laughs> Looks so weird. I've not done the guess for today yet, and I, and I will not. Ravager, 6 mana. Cause 1 less to cast for each payment you control with oil. So, red green is red green is oil themed. Red black was sacrifice themed. Red green is oil themed. 
when it enters, it uses one damage to each creature opponent's controls. What what a weird ability. This card seems does not seem very cohesive. <laughs> like it doesn't seem to make make sense. That's vigilance be on a gruel card. It's a lot of X one this format I've noticed. Yeah, well it's fine. Like a strong effect, fine, but it just doesn't make sense the combination of words on this card to me. Thematically. I don't know what it's trying to convey, but this seems like the Maro Green Black Angel Vigilance type deal. Slaughter Singer, so I two drop. Toxic two on a two two. Whenever under creature control with toxic attacks get plus one plus one. Wow. There was plenty of toxic guys in green and white. So strong. And it communicates the idea clearly. Green, white, toxic aggro, right? And the red, green one, I didn't I don't know what it wanted to communicate to me. Five mana. I've seen this card. This card was pretty insane too. I like the suit hat. Whatever it is. May you rejoice in the magnificence of Norn. May your flesh serve perfection vigilance if your opponent is corrupted you destroy so it's a five mana four four chupacabra of vigilance if corrupted so you want to corrupt serum core chimera Whenever you cast a non-creature, put an oil counter on Serum Core Chimera. Remove three oil counters from Serum Core Chimera, draw a card, then you may discard a non-land card. So, blue red is non-creature spells casting. To include artifacts. And you probably need to proliferate a bit, yeah. And you remove free oil to draw and then you may discard a spell to deal free damage to a creature playing soccer. It is not a loot. It's draw a card and then you may discard a spell to deal free damage, but you don't need to discard. It's free oils to draw. Which is much better. But seems Okay, but not it doesn't immediately jump to me as super giga powerful. Takes a while to get enabled, but not not too bad. Necrogen Rod Priest, Toxic 2, 1, 5. Whenever Toxic deals combat damage, that player gets an actual poison counter. So effectively toxic free. Target your control of toxic gains death touch until end of turn. A bit awkward that it's in green black because they don't have mites in green black too much. For Mirrodin! Equip creature has double strike. Equip abilities or activate for other equipments costs one less to activate. So it's three mana two to double strike. This doesn't even seem that strong to me. Tainted Observer. Parexian Bird. The three fucking heads here. Where's the bird part? What the hell? Chad, point me towards the bird part of this. Bears, toxic one. Wings? Where is this wings? Or this wings? 
It's, looks more like a carrot than a bird. Another creature enters the battlefield under control. You may pay to if you do proliferate. Wow. Lots of proliferating possible, but a very slow card. Not very impressive if, if you don't play a very long game. And it's in blue green. It's kind of weird. But could be really a good payoff in a long game. Are there many artifacts in the set to look at? It's actually not too many artifacts in Phyrexia. Well, not colorless artifacts. What are the lands? There's common lands that enter tapped and you suck them to draw a card. I don't know if they're good aggro lands. Not really. Tapped. This is that upside. I mean base stats are pretty good already. I mean for the for the uncommon double color, two color payoff uncommon card, I think it's fine but not exciting. There is Teramorphic Expanse to fix. There's the Fastlands. The Spheres are... doesn't look so good to me. You will want to curve out. So let's look at the artifacts that are uncommon and uncommon yet. Rip skiff. Toxic 2, when ETB draw, crew free. Crew free is always a lot. ETB draw is very nice. It's like the barge. I think the barge was 5-5 five, five, crew free. We'll need to see how good crew free is in practice, but it's typically pretty bad. Prosthetic Injector. Quit Kisha gets plus O plus 2 and that's toxic. How is this, how, how is it being carried? Fair arm. <laughs> Plus O plus 2 and Toxic 1 seems very weak to me. Maybe it's okay. What is this song? And surprisingly, given that the words fly away are repeated in it 17 times, it's called fly away. Prophetic Priest and good fixing at common. That might enable some splashes. And there were some effects that want to sacrifice an artifact. That's a good sacrifice artifact sacrifice. Otherwise, Pyrex and Atlas. <laughs> when it becomes stabbed, each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses one life. Such an odd effect. This does not seem great. But it's mana lift plus. Mir King Smith. For mana, tutor for a mer. There aren't many mers in this set. Almost, almost no mers. He's a phenomenal control player. Yes, yeah, three mers in the deck. In the in the deck in the set. Starful numbers. Thank you for the sub. Mirkastodian, and what? 4 mana, 2, 3 one? Yeah, that sucks. Unless you get like 3 copies of that and then you do the chaining Squadron Hawk style. Scry 2, then you should put my Scry 1. Mir will go where the work is. We always have, we always will. 
well put, Mr. Mir. It's ironing. No, I guess it's not. I don't know. Seems like Giga Filler. Phyrexian Mir. Mir Convert. Pay two life at one mana of any color. Two mana, Oxing one. Okay, that is not too bad. That's an okay two drop. Acor Plate Golem. All counter support. Creatures you can remove all kinds of them get plus one, plus one. This is a lord for like half creatures in the set. Please play this opponents. This. He's a phenomenal control. You're okay. Player. Misplaced face. Acor Plate Golem seems like a relatively strong and common. Do you think this is that bad? I mean, it's like pillar, but could play it for curve. Two mana, two one, toxic one. Shuffle the basic land on top. Mm, can enable a splash. Pretty weak at it. Attracts a skitterfang. With free oils. Thank you very much for the sub, ill fated. Flying vigilance death touch of life near the end of ten, the attracts are keywords. Three mana two two seems filler because of the stats. A so called morph. May school bomb. One sack draw, three mana, plus three, plus three draw. Sorcery. Hmm. Not great, that is a sorcery. Fairness. Put two oil counters and draw. Alright, it's not like this green school can be that bad. This could also could also play it because there were it's, this cards that benefit from cards going to the graveyard. Return creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, draw a card. But this is actually a nice card advantage if you want to have card advantage for a longer game. And you can also just cycle the skull bombs for two mana to to do stuff. But this seems like a relatively strong effect, like long game card advantage. Covering. What does the blue one do? Bounce the card. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, well that's okay at slowing down the game, which blue seems to be interested in doing. <laughs> the Alash Lord one makes a funny face. What does it do? Plus two, plus two, and flying the card. What part of it grants flying? I like the blue one and the black one. Alright, my verdict on the commons and uncommons of the set seems says that I think it's a fast aggressive set. And the cards in limited seem more powerful nowadays than they used to a few years ago. That said, this is going to be all for today. A bit of a shorter stream today. Uh, we'll be streaming the challenges and the super vintage super qualifier on Sunday. The challenges tomorrow. So I'll hope you see. I'll hope to see you here tomorrow, and I hope you're gonna have fun. For now, let's send you over to TSP Jendrek and take care, bros. Seems like he's using. Dark Six Shores and Pioneer. The Dark Six Shores exploit. See ya.